Um, I used to have really bad cycles. I mean, I there were days where I couldn't go to work. Hi guys, so in today's video, um, it is Vlogmas Day 13, and I'm going to share with you guys um, how I got rid of my super painful, debilitating periods. Um, I used to have really bad cycles. I mean, I there were days where I couldn't go to work because I was vomiting in the morning and I was just so weak and my cramps were unbearable and um, it would happen every month. And this was actually when I um, was considered my most fit. So this was when I was dieting and I was lean and all this stuff. So I'm not a doctor, so I'm not giving you medical advice. I am telling you what I talked to my doctor about and the things that worked for me in hopes that maybe you can go to your doctor too and ask him or her, um, you know, these things and see if this will work for you too. Okay, so um, as I said, this was happening when I was supposedly my healthiest. So I was eating a lot of lean meat. I wasn't eating too, ma too much red meat and I wasn't eating um, a lot of fatty meats. It was a lot of like turkey, lean turkey, chicken, um, it was a lot of, uh, vegetables and, um, I was kind of eating the same thing every day. Honestly, it wasn't quite, um, the variety that I probably should have been. And, um, you know, I was doing like the fat free cheese and the low fat this and the low fat that. Um, and my, um, I started having these painful periods, as I said. So there was actually one day where I woke up and I... <laughs> I had to call out sick to work. And that was when I was like, okay, I need to figure something out. So I went to my doctor and she was like, okay, um, let's do some tests. So the first thing she did was she um, made sure that my ferritin and iron levels were normal. They were not because I was not eating red meat and I wasn't getting enough iron from my vegetables and I wasn't taking a multivitamin at the time. So. She was like, oh, are you afraid of red meat? And I said, no. And she's like, okay, you know, get you some grass fed, grass finished, organic steak. And I want you to have that once a week because you're losing so much blood on your cycle and you already don't have enough iron in your blood because you're eating so lean and so clean that you, you can't, your body actually can't handle your cycle. So I did that and she's like, you know, you can take an iron supplement if you want to. Um, and she's like, I have nothing against that, but she's like, obviously, you know, she's one of those, like, she's, uh, she's not completely holistic because she's actually works, worked in a real, like in a hospital, not a hospital, but an actual clinic. So she's, she's like somewhat conventional, somewhat holistic, naturopathic. So she's like, you know, obviously the goal is to always get it from food. So if you, if your body can handle the red meat, then get it from red meat because it's going to be the most bioavailable. And so we did that and my next cycle, I saw a pretty noticeable difference, that alone. And so then she's like, okay, if you want to, if you're tired of eating the red meat, you can go ahead and grab, you know, maybe limit your red meat consumption to, you know, once or twice a month, but then have your iron pills. And then we started talking about hormones and she's like, honestly, some of this stuff comes from heavy estrogen. Like if you're estrogen dominant, which I know I am, I haven't told you guys that story yet and maybe I will, but I know I have estrogen dominance normally and it's not, I shouldn't say it's normal cause it's not, it's, it's environmental. Most women do not naturally have estrogen dominance. It comes from the food that we're eating, um, the makeup that we're putting on, um, it comes from a lack of exercise and things like that. So, and then just like whatever is in the air, right? The plastic and all that. So she explained to me that when you have an estrogen dominance, you're going to have a heavier, thicker period. And so what, <laughs> she just gave me a list of things to stop doing. <laughs> and let me tell you, she's like, throw away all your makeup and get organic non-phthalate um, or phthalate free, you know, all that stuff, right? Like 
BPA free stuff. Stop drinking out of plastic water bottles. Because at that time, when I was competing, you know, we used to walk around with those gallon jugs. You guys, if y'all, if you ever competed in competitions or you were in that fitness, you know, you know, we used to walk around with those gallon jugs, and those gallon jugs have um, BPA in them, and so BPA jacks up your hormones. And so she's like, okay, throw that out. Um, and then she's like, okay, make sure you're drinking your lemon water and all that stuff. And she's like, you need to be sweating because when you sweat, you actually release estrogen. So you need to sweat so you can get rid of that. And then um, we talked about dairy and how certain, um, I know people are like, well, the cows can't have hormones. But if what they're putting on the wheat that the cows are eating or the corn that the cows are eating um, if they're putting whatever they're putting in that, that's in the meat and so, or in the dairy and in the milk. So she was like, if you're going to have milk, try and make sure that it's organic, um, from grass fed, grass finished cows, because they put less pesticides on that. She said, um, make sure that you're, um, you know, eating grains that are organic. If you're going to have grains, that's a choice. So that was super helpful, um, for me and that actually really 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 changed my um cycle because i was i mean it was so debilitating um so that really worked and then of course i was already exercising so she's like you're good to go in terms of that but just make sure you're sweating because at that time too you guys it was like all the rage to like no cardio like where you know we, how much weight can you lose without cardio as if cardio is not an essential part of health and wellness like stop the madness right like you <laughs> part of um being healthy is being cardiovascularly fit right but we have we're in this little culture right now where it's like how much weight can you lose without doing cardio and it's like that's just not even healthy like straight up okay um and the other thing that she mentioned is that um estrogen loves fat on your body so if you are overweight excessively overweight you're going to have a heavy a lot of times you're going to have a heavier period because you're, there's a lot more estrogen stored there. So just on like a hormonal level, like it's really good to um, just keep your body fat percentage down and all that. Um, and I'll just add this aside here, lifting weights, that testosterone boost, that HGH boost that you get from lifting weights is so good for your cycle. I noticed that when I do all of the things that she mentioned, I have a better, like my cycle is way less painful. Um, and then I'll put my own personal note on there. When I have dairy, it's a wrap. Like this last cycle, I don't know what I was thinking, but I was like, I'm in, I'm in whipped cream. And normally I do, um, normally I have dairy free whipped cream, but I was over here acting a fool, having milk and had some super painful cramps this cycle. And I was like, you're an idiot, Joanna, because you already know what's up and you just went ahead and did it anyway. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like just, just some foolishness. So uh, yeah, I, that is how I stopped my painful period cycles. So. So we're doing right now. All right, you guys, if you struggled with painful periods, please let me know and let me know what works for you guys. Um, oh, mm, my client, my, one of my athletes, um, she started um, drinking celery juice and she said that helped her so much. And I told that to my students when I was teaching. I was like, you guys, let me know if this works for you. And they, a few of them said, yeah, they started drinking celery juice and that happened. And I honestly don't know the rationale behind that. Like, I don't know how that works chemically in the body, but that was something that worked. And then when my coach um, in high school, oh, what's the movie in high school? I don't know if it was college or whatever, but he used to give us garlic pills. He would say, take some garlic pills when you have cramps. Um, and I do know that that worked really well. So uh, I'm sure fresh garlic will work just as fine, um, just as well. But um, those are just some little extra tidbits that um, 
that uh, that helped me out. So yeah, you guys, I like the thing when I was teaching health, like the thing that we often forget is that your period is not supposed to be super painful. Discomfort is normal, right? Like you're just, you know, you're bleeding from horses, it doesn't feel good. But this like debilitating, I need to stay at home and sleep kind of thing, that's actually not, like that's a sign that something is up. So please, you know, go ask, talk to your doctor, um, see if you can get, you know, do some, um, you know, some holistic, natural things that, that will help you mitigate these symptoms because this is not normal. We have normalized dysfunction in our hormonal our hormones, right? And a lot of girls, you know, are struggling with super heavy periods and their doctors are like, okay, we'll just go get birth control. And it's like, okay, but you do realize that birth control doesn't fix the problem of, of um, periods like of heavy periods it just makes your period go away so when you come off of the cycle off of your meds you have painful periods again and so don't you want to just fix the problem and it is possible you guys like it i'm telling you when i say i used to be literally out of commission I kid you not, like I thought I had food poisoning one time, like that's how ill I was on my cycle. And now that I've gotten my nutrition under control, I'm mindful of what I'm eating, I'm mindful of what I'm putting in my body, what makeup I'm using, and just trying to be more mindful of that kind of stuff. I'm telling you, change the game. Changing the game. So please do not go around here thinking that you have to live with this like you don't you don't have to live with painful periods there is a solution now i will say this disclaimer because somebody go why am i endometriosis and i'm like i'm not really talking about those who have endometriosis i'm not talking about those who have like medical conditions i'm talking about those of us who are just like the average girl who um you know is just struggling with um with cycle with with painful periods okay so i'm not really like endometriosis is something different that's and you know stuff like that so please that's not what i'm talking about here i'm talking about um you know just the average woman who has quote unquote unexplained heavy cycles okay um all right i think how do we look do we look do we look normal now how do we look? look? Pretty decent. I need a comb because so I can figure out where I want to put my part in my hair. Do we look decent? Am I ready for the world? Can the world see me? Oh, I feel like I need to, oh, I know what I need to do. I need to blend this a little bit more. This looks a little, there we go. Blend that in, baby girl, blend it. Blend it, baby girl. All right. <laughs> <laughs> do not laugh at me, you guys. Do not. Do not. All right. I think I look decent. Hi, friends. Okay. All right, guys. That's it for the video. If you found this video helpful, please like comment, subscribe, and share it with someone who might need this. Um, my goal is to help, is my goal at all times. So if this was helpful to you, please let me know. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.